Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little project that I talked to you about yesterday. So we'll get started on, the, on that in a minute. Hi and hugs to Renina. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I hope so. Renina, Fern, Jan, and Donna. Hi and hugs to you all. And Donna, thank you so much. Donna was the one that purchased... Um, my Tim Holtz little red school journal. So thank you so much for that, Donna. And yes, let's get started. So I was talking to you yesterday about these tags that I did um, prior to going on vacation. And I really love how they turned out. I think they're so fun. So I did a whole five page collage of the, um, text and music and really neutral sorts of things. And so um, I thought I'd just show you how I did those. Uh, we can put these collages over out of our way over here and we will get started. So I kind of put my camera halfway because <laughs> it was really about 50-50. I love the close-up. I hate the close-up. <laughs> <laughs> or I like it further away. So I went halfway, and so I'm hoping this will be good for everyone that you can see and that it's not like too much in your face. So I've pulled out a bunch of napkins that I thought I might like to play with. I didn't want to do the same ones that I had done last time because then we'll have different tags, and I want to try journal cards and stuff. So yeah. Let's get going. So this um, is collaged on the back with um, a bunch of fun neutral paper. So sh that should be good. Mm -hmm. It's all good to go. Um, okay, so let's think about how we want to cut this up. I think I want to make journal cards here because only because otherwise a tag would be almost all music paper. So yeah, I thought once we got this going, I could tell you about my vacation and everything. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, so I'm gonna make these five-ish inches, right? Because then I think they can be, um, can be journal cards so let's just start cutting away it's not like we can't do more if we wanted to right so I'm gonna go three and a half by five that's a nice size journal card and or pocket could be a pocket too and then that leaves me a little snippet type of tag Ooh, I like that. That could be fun, too. All right, all right. Uh, now what do we want? Like, tags, maybe? Should we make this one into a tag? Let's, let's do it. What did I do these? I think I did these, like, six by... Yeah, six by three. Okay. And I really like that size, so... Nice size that will go in a lot of spots. So that'll be good. Okay, so, and then we should be able to get three of them out of here too, which is awesome. And then this one. Ooh, I really like those. Those are great. Okay, tags. Um... Looking at my, I think we might make, um, okay, got it. I think we're going to do another set of journaling cards. So I'm going to go five there and then do, what did I do? Three and a half-ish, didn't I? So let's do three and a half-ish. It's a good one. Lots of different things on that one. Lots of different things on this one. Oops, three and a half-ish. 
and then just a little snippety thing left. Okay, then I'm going to do another set of tags. Okay, this is going to work out great. Tags, three inches. Keep my keep my wits about me here. <laughs> oh, I'm, ex I, I'm excited to get this part done so I can tell you about Clark goings on. Okay, tags, awesome. Now this one is what? It's like seven and three quarters, just about. So three and a half and a little bit more. <laughs> Not quite four. I'm going to make a couple of flips, I think. What's my thought out of these two? So these need to be trimmed down because they're nine inches and I'm going to want them to be eight and a half. Really, I can just trim off that little white bit there. Okay, that works. That's going to be garbaggio. All right, and then maybe this one, this way. Cool. All right. So we're all cut up, and we're going to just Mod Podge some napkins. Oh, I forgot to get, um, oh, I have water in my brush. I was thinking I should do that. Okay, so... We have all these okay so now what we have is we have these two little bits that will make kind of cute little tags I think tiny tags we've got four journaling cards different size thicknesses <laughs> of course um, six tags and a couple flippy do's and look at how neutral those are Aren't those kind of cool okay first thing I'm gonna do is cut these tags how we want them. So, vacation. Oh my gosh, guys. It was fabulous. It was so good. Um, at my, son house, my son's house, we had a blast. Um, so, what it was, was my, at my son's house, who has the largest house best to accommodate everyone um and then my daughter that lives across the state came her and her family and then my middle daughter from denver those of you were at the denver meet and greet it was Joni, Joni and her family so um we had them so we were only missing our youngest mary and her family but work things i think i told you she she just wasn't able to be able to come so um anyway i learned a long time ago i think i've shared this before too that you just enjoy the ones that are there and don't dwell on the ones that aren't because otherwise it messes up your fun time with the ones that are there. So I really put that into use again. And, um, and so we had seven of our 10 grandkids and then, um, our th three big kids and their, and their spouses. So, um, Okay, I think I'm going to start with this because I, I'm just feeling inspired by this napkin here. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, we got together and, oh my gosh, you guys, we played and played and played. We, um, we played volleyball. We played kickball. <laughs> and... Um, it was so much fun. So, as you know, because I've talked about it before, my daughter's daughter, Addie, daughter's daughters, um, Addie and Katie, both play volleyball pretty competitively. They're on a tra traveling team and everything. Um, 
So it was super fun. They were the captains. <laughs> they got to choose their teams. Guess who was last every time? <laughs> That's okay. I didn't take offense. I, I bring it up only because I didn't take offense, right? Oh, geez. Yeah, that, that kind of became the joke. Nana's last. But, but I have to say, peeps, I really kind of held my own. I really did. <laughs> I had some I had some good hits and stuff. It was fun. I really like playing the front row the best. That was really fun. So, um so yeah, we had multiple games of volleyball and then we played kickball. My daughter from Denver brought this great kickball set that um had this giant ball. Gosh, it was a big ball. But it was super fun. It was super fun to play. So the story from the the kickball business was <laughs> I'm, I'm up to bat, you know, and I went to kick the ball. And so my kicking leg was up in the air and, <laughs> and I twisted the other ankle and down I go. <laughs> like, like, I don't know what, a ton of bricks, a ton of bricks. I went down just boom, right on my back. So everybody's freaking out because um, I'm not getting up. Well, I was laughing so hard. I couldn't get up. <laughs> so anyway, I scared my, my, uh, Middle daughter, Joni, she was playing and she comes running over. Of course, she's cracking up too and trying not to. Mom, are you okay? I'm like, I'm okay. Just can't quit laughing. Oh my goodness. So that was funny. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Played multiple games of that as well. Um, let's see, what else did we do? We went to... Um, Fort Missoula, it's called, and it's a historical place, and it was it was really very interesting because um, it became in World War II became a detainee camp. Okay, let's see how that. Okay, I could go this way because I don't care if that little pink goes. I want it. I think I want it right about there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, um, a detainee camp as they, you know, they, I know they had a lot of those in California, but I didn't know we had one in Montana. So I learned something. Um, so the other thing I learned is um, Japanese people were being dis. Uh, detained as they were like in California, but it was also Italians. So there was this Italian, um, a boat load of Italian men who came over to work at the, um, at the world's fair. Um, I need some, hang on a sec. This is dirty and yucky, but it'll be okay. Um, anyway, they came over to work at the World's Fair. Well, then war broke out. And and so they were popped away into this detention camp. Um, sometimes it's easiest just to go ahead and do almost the whole thing here. So I might just do that for eases, for eases sake. So anyway, um, I didn't realize that. And so we looked at, they had a, a board with all the names of the detainees. And sure enough, there were two, um, two gentlemen that uh, are related to my husband's family. Yeah, crazy. So that was really, was really super interesting. Um, and then, oops, I 
get over far enough. Uh, so one day we walked around that and that was really interesting. They had a lot of other historical things besides there's only one part that was the detainee camp. It was um, kind of a, a barracks type of place, but they had an old schoolhouse. They had a um, an old lookout tower for fires, you know, and uh, various things like that that was that were really fun to see. Of course, my son and son-in-law went up onto the um water tower I was like eh, no thank you they got up there and they're like this thing's rickety and I'm like oh my gosh but all was well <laughs> so um yeah so that was really interesting okay that's cool isn't it I like that a lot so there there can be more decorating too the one thing I feel like with these tags I mean I like these I didn't put tabs on these ones but I could later on or something I don't know but the only texture is the texture of the Mod Podge so you know maybe we'll put a little lace or something else on this too so just to say might not be done um but we'll set it aside to dry here uh, so we did that one day, um, lots of, lots of sitting and visiting. There was lots of that, which was what I was looking forward to anyway. <laughs> okay. I wonder if this little bunny is too small. Uh-oh, Jimmy's getting in trouble. I just heard Mike say bad. <laughs> Uh oh, Jimmy Joe. I know the tall one works. I'm kind. Of, I feel kind of hoardish, hoard, hoard, hoarding about these because I think they're so cute. I think I'm gonna use the little one just so I can use this piece that's flopping off of the napkin. Um. Lots of visiting. The kids played and played. Oh, the ping pong tournament. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. So, um, yes, we had the ping pong tournament. I had the very first game. And, of course, uh, I lost to my 11-year-old grandson. 11? Is he 11? 10. I think he's 10. Uh, even worse. <laughs> So um, I think I might just do this one and I'll just put that right up to the edge there. Yeah, let's just see how that does. does. Um, anyway, I lost and it was double elimination. As I told you, Mike spent a lot of time putting it together. And, um, and so he beat me and was quite thrilled because of course I was... <laughs> Doing a little grandma trash talking. <laughs> I said, I, I don't know, Anthony, you're going to have to earn it. If you win, you're going to have to earn it. Well, he sure did. <laughs> he just he killed me. He just killed me. So anyway, um, and then double elimination. So it went on, went on for a good while. So we did that. And uh, my son-in-law uh chad ended up winning and um much to my son's dismay because my son wanted that because my husband got a trophy you know for it that said augustinelli ping pong tournament 2020 <laughs> and it was actually on the top of the trophy was a ping pong player i just that just cracked me up i had no idea they even had such a thing so um so we did that and then at some point my my um my grandkids my son's kids have a uh uh um karaoke machine so then we started doing just it was just one of those sort of organic things all of a sudden my oldest daughter started singing and um my grandkids said wait 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 and they pulled out the 
pulled out the karaoke machine for her. So then everybody had to, to go. And then what happened is my son would find on um, online karaoke, they have the words to songs, you know. And so uh, he, he looked up specifically duets. So each, each couple did a duet. The, the kids got together and they did duets too. But um, so, I mean, I'm kind of racking my brain thinking what could Mike and I do, you know. And Mike goes, make sure it's like a 60s or 70s song. I'm like, okay. So we ended up doing, we ended up doing I Got You Babe. This is Sunny and Cher. <laughs> so that was super fun. I mean, it really was. Um, and I, I tell you, when my daughters get the giggles, it just, I just can't even breathe for laughing so hard. So, and they did get the giggles <laughs> because they just go for it, you know, belting it out and Let's just say the Augustinellis aren't known for their singing ability, except for my grandson, Aiden. He's he's really good. And he's taken voice lessons and all that. But, oh, my geez. So, yeah. So, anyway, that was super fun. That, that just sort of spontaneously happened. So, that was really cool. And then, what else? What else did we do? Oh, you know, cooked. Um, I'm going to do this one. Look at how pretty that birdie is. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. Go. I'm going to pull out this whole side here. Let me just, let me just wet that. I'm going to pull out the whole side because I think I can use bits and pieces in other ones too. Um, anyway, so yeah, we had yummy food, tons of food. Gosh, the kitchen and dining room were just busting at the seams with food. So um, that was great. And um, let me get this little edge off of here because it's white. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, yeah, so that was that was super fun. We had burgers the first night, and I made this Italian salad that we all love. It's pasta and veggies and Italian dressing and stuff. And so I made that, and then we, my son barbecued burgers. It was fun because Mike and I just brought all the food, and so our car was packed, I'll tell you. So I'm going to put that over there. Can I, I think I can get the butterfly. So I'm going to go around this, around the design here a little bit. And then maybe just go down here. Um, and then let's see. So we did that. Then the second night, my daughter, oldest daughter, cooked, and she made mahi-mahi fish. It was delicious. And then um, then the last night, we had uh, ham, because that's my son's favorite. And so, since he was hosting, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, yeah, and so then when we came home, um, my daughter from Denver, she and her family came with us, and she spent they spent several days here. So oh, it was just great. And so um, while they were here, it was real relaxed time because everybody was exhausted from being all together. Um, and my grandsons, they were told, um, my uh, Denver daughters, boys, were told that they were not to have, not to be on their electronics at all. So 
all the kids they never they never got on their electronics they just um they just played my son built his kids a tree house that is just awesome and so they spent some time in there um they watched some they they did watch some movies together and stuff like that but they weren't on their individual devices i guess i should say okay i'm just setting these aside to dry all of these and then we'll go from there um and then let's see what time oh geez time flies it really does okay so let's do a journal card just let's let's switch gears for a second we got a couple of tags done let's do a journal card or something maybe this one um yeah so uh it was very relaxing here they did um we have a mountain outside of our town called mount helena <laughs> aptly named right uh and they, it has hiking trails up to the top and so they did do that one day mike and i did not go with them um but they took their boys and they did that and then oh gosh i have to tell you about jimmy joe so you know i left jimmy joe with my good friend lynn and um he did great. He did so great. So uh, that was awesome. And then, um, oh, that's funny. I have my heater on, but I don't have it plugged in. Excuse me just one moment while I go do that. Thank you. Had to turn on the heater. I'm freezing. My craft room is in the basement for those of you that think I'm crazy that I'm freezing in, in July. Oh, look at this pretty little white fly. I wonder how that would be on there. Okay, I think I have a plan. Let's use this. Um, what was I saying? Oh, that... We didn't go on the hike. I said that. Oh, Jimmy Joe. Um, so anyway, uh, he, he did he did just fine, and he and Lynn got along famously. And then when we got home, I was a little worried about was he going to be wild as can be. Um, was he going to be wild as can be with? my grandsons because my my Denver daughter has three boys and so I was like oh my gosh is he gonna be a crazy boy and is it gonna be so exhausting and oh look how pretty that's gonna be that's gonna be fun um he was so good except for well as when they first met which I was expecting he got a little crazy and he did jump up in my youngest grandson Louie he bonked him in the mouth and and the tooth kind of and so that was a bit of a moment but um but other than that he was so calm and so great and it was fun because my daughter and her husband are very big dog people they love dogs and so um it was fun that they thought he was such a good boy and so my grandsons got out. We have two hammocks, you know. I've told you about my hammock time. Um, and my grandsons got those out. And they just laid there with their electronics and, and uh, you know, watched videos or whatever. And then, ooh, that's going to, I think that's going to be a real pretty one. Okay, well, that's fun. Dry that one out. Um... Okay, now I'll go back and forth. I'll do a tag and then I'll do the, then I'll do something else. I have a lot more, I have a lot more um, napkins to go here. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, it was, it was delightful. And then they, they had to leave for home at like 4.30 in the morning 
because my middle grandson had football practice and it's like 12 hours to get to where they are. So that was kind of crazy, but you know, they're young. They, they did it. <laughs> Got home safely. That was the main thing. So yeah, it was, it was really good. And talk about my, my uh, daughter said my middle grandson had sat, we were sitting around talking and he sat on my lap for a good while and he got up and my daughter said, are you getting your, are you getting your bucket filled, Nana? <laughs> I said, yep, I am. Um, so great. So great. So, and you know, we, oh, I was going to tell you, the other thing I was going to tell you is that both of my daughters and their husbands got tested before they came, which I thought was so sweet of them. They were just kind of, you know, just concerned that they wanted to make sure they were okay. And they were, ah, uh, uh, that happened. Got a, little too, got a little too much. Squeezed the pen a little too hard, let's just say. So, whoopsie. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was it was just an incredibly wonderful time, is what I have to say about that. It really was. So, I don't think I want all that blue stuff at the bottom, but I think I am going to take some of some of this stuff and pop it a couple places. So I guess I would say if you're thinking about getting together with family, maybe do it sooner than later so that you can, you can have some time before things, before anything gets worse than it is, I guess. I'm just, I'm very, very grateful that we did it. I'm. I was nervous, but it was all okay, and we did all of our, we did social distancing for the most part. I mean, the family wasn't always socially distant, but like I say, my kids got tested, so I think I might do that. Okay, so that means I need to Mod Podge the whole tag. Yeah, so... I all's, all's well that ends well, and Jimmy Joe's been a little bit funny since we got home. I'm almost wondering if we, he was, he was fine while the kids were here, but then when they left, he's just been really quiet for, um, for him, and Mike said, I think he's punishing us for leaving him. I said, that could be. That could be. See how the white, if, if you have lots of white, it's a really good thing. Because um, then the, the book page just shows right through the, the white, which is kind of what I like. So... Anyway, I don't know how, I, it, we might just get the napkins on. We might have to tomorrow do some additional decorating and stuff to these. I don't know. Okay. Okay, there's that one. This one's getting dry, so I could trim it. Um. So then today, Mike and I had to run out and do some, you know, some we're home kind of errands <laughs> and like get dog food and a couple other things. And so um, we did that this morning and then so I'm going to try and get my video done because I'm day to day now. You know, I was a whole week ahead and that kind of 
that kind of gave me some leeway, but now I'm back to day to day. So I'm gonna have to probably, oh, that's pretty, let's do that on a tag. I said I was gonna go every other one, didn't I? Maybe I'll do it on a journal card, just go. Well, get to this side. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. Um, I told my husband I want to get a couple days ahead because you know what's nice about that is that you can um, then if stuff comes up during the day, you can just. Um, not film that day and you're still good you know so I need to get a couple days ahead because and then other in in other news <laughs> as they say um, my doctor's office got a hold of me so my surgery that didn't happen because of my heart difficulty um, is rescheduled for August 4th so we'll see if it gets to happen, but I need to be a little ahead for during that time. Just because I don't know that I'll feel up to it. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to go around this. Right there. Cause, oh yeah, that's real pretty, isn't it? And then that will that will need something else on the other side—a label or a butterfly or something, won't it? Um. So yeah, life is good. It was it was a much needed break for this kid. I, I really did kind of need a break. So now I'm just all sorts of excited to be back in the craft room and doing my thing and getting some stuff on Etsy and all that jazz. I'm working again because I pulled things out for this project. I'm working on some just random napkin packs for my Etsy. Um, because I find I have so many napkins. <laughs> so, might as well split them up. And it's kind of nice when you can get random, random ones instead of a whole pack, you know. So, I'm just going to leave that, I think. Unless I want to put any of this on there. You know what? I might put a little of that on there. I'm not liking this area right here. Now I may end up covering it with a label or something, who knows, but I'm just gonna put that right there for now from that other napkin. And you know, maybe this could become a pocket too. I could just put a little divot in there and then um, then it's kind of nice when pockets are flat because then it doesn't impede writing, even though I put bumpy pockets in sometimes. Okay, there's that one. And let's do another one of these, maybe. Okay, these are the napkins I have left. What do I have? Ooh, this one would be fun. That one and that one. For, okay. I might just... Go ahead and put that one on there, just like that. I think what I might do is, do I want to cut it now or later is my question. I'll just wait. Okay, um, what else? What else do I have to tell you? I don't know. So 
So, um, oh, I know what I can tell you. So tonight, my oldest daughter, one with volleyball players, they are actually stopping overnight at our house to spend the night because they are headed up to a, a friend's cabin up at a lake and we're kind of half, not halfway, but They'll cut a little off the trip tomorrow by stopping at our house tonight. So we're excited about that. So I, I was real busy yesterday um, flipping the bed and breakfast, if you will. <laughs> Washing sheets and towels. And I still need to clean the bathroom. And what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to do some gardening too. My poor gardens. I need to deadhead in the worst way. So... Got to get that done today, too. So I have a few things on the agenda today. But but you guys are always my priority. You guys slash my craft room. <laughs> my husband would say, oh, yeah, it's all about making videos for your subbies. No, you just want to play in your craft room. Yeah, it's just nice that they both work together. <laughs> so, yeah. So that'll be fun to have them kind of have dinner and stay the night. So we'll get a chance to chat with them, see how much fun they had. I felt so bad. Our little Addie, who's, you know, the volleyball player, when we were playing volleyball, she kind of hurt her knee. And so, I don't know what they were going to take her to. A physical therapist for it so oof, I hope it's okay I can't pick it up okay we'll see how that one see how that one goes all right what else oh I was thinking these this napkin would be really good for um, for this so yeah I'm in a I hope to have some time to work Oh, yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm hoping to have some time to work on those napkin packets today, but I don't know. Got to clean the bathroom. Got to got a garden. We'll see how, how far I get. So um, we took your guys' advice, and I got another blankie for Mr. Jimmy Joe for the... Um, lower level i was telling you guys we had let him go down to the lower level but then he started scratching at the carpet and you guys said he's trying to nest so give him a blanket well i didn't he's got two blankets and a beach towel <laughs> upstairs and i didn't really want to bring one of those down because i had a feeling he'd just drag it right back upstairs again so um when we were at walmart today getting my husband's contact stuff. I said, let's go buy the blankets because um, I want to get Jimmy Joe a blanket for downstairs. So found one. So, and he was quite thrilled with it. So um, we're giving it another try on the other level. If it doesn't work today, then we'll wait until after he gets neutered and see if we have better luck that way. But, um, yeah, so, so thank you for your advice on that. I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, so, well, he and Lynn just got along famously. So that was so good. He loves the one he's with. Remember that song from, I don't know, 60s or 70s? But, true for that boy. Okay, that's going to be pretty. I think that's going to be real pretty. Okay. Come up. All right. I'm running out of room to set things, guys. get going so I can show you oh yeah 15 minutes we're good 
I think we might be able to finish. I don't know. Okay, I was thinking of putting this bunny on a journal card. I think I want to do this card. So, anyways, giving that a try, and I haven't heard him yet, and usually when I'm in my craft room, he kind of stays right at the top of the stairs there so I haven't heard anything yet so if I go rushing off you'll know it's because he's scratching the carpet but I, I think it might work actually okay that's a little loose I'll have to fix that but oh my gosh my glue stick was stuck back there going to be sewn. All of these I'll sew around. Which will be another big old, big old um, chore, but I will. Can I get the butterfly? Okay, I think I might have to, okay. I'm going to have to do this in parts and pieces is what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to get the bunny. Bunny there. And what if I just get this part? And put that kind of, I guess it has to go this way. I could put that kind of on there. Okay. So great to be using up some napkins. I'm happy about that, but much more to use, really. I have I had a moment of thinking I hadn't distressed the edges of that. Okay. Miss the bunny, you go right down in the corner. Like so. Miss the butterfly. Kind of don't like the greenery just floating in midair. have two more napkins. I have two more pieces. Uh, journal card and tag. But I have the little tiny tags too. But I don't think I'm going to put napkin on those. Um, somebody gave me the idea when I was looking at the that other one that I had. Um, they gave me the idea to just put some lace down the middle. I like that. Yeah, a lot. So, okay. So what we have left. Okay, so this one, I think I'm going to use this one on a journal card, I think. And the other one on a, on a tag. All right. So I hope you all had a really good 4th of July, too. Oh, the other thing we did is my um, oldest daughter, they have a blow-up movie screen. And so at night, they put up the blow-up movie screen. And the first night, the kids just watched a movie. But the second night, everybody did. And we watched Mamma Mia, which is one of my faves. 
Um, yeah, we watched. Oh, geez, that one's coming off too. Didn't do a very good job. Looks like the same paper on the other one. Um, anywho, we watched Mama Mia and then one of their neighbors. Oh my good grief. They must have, they must have spent $3,000 on fireworks. I mean, it was unbelievable. And they were, you know, they weren't just, you know, your backyard kind of, um, your backyard kind. They were, they were huge. They were big old, huge fireworks. Yeah, it was crazy. So, I mean, the kids really enjoyed that too, as far as watching, t you know, watching the movie and then they could watch the fireworks too. Sometimes you couldn't hear the movie very well, but uh, yeah, just get that in the middle a little bit, but they'll, like I say, those will be sewn around, so no biggie. Okay, so I was looking at this little, oh yes, aren't those pretty? Oh, I kind of like that one. Okay, so, so yeah, we did, we did that as well. Of course I want the one that's in the middle. Oh, this is real pretty too. Huh. I think this one will fit better. So, all in all, just a wonderful, wonderful time. And so, so the, so a lot, you know, 4.30 in the morning is when my kids left. We said goodbye to them uh, last night, or, or the night before they left, because we didn't really want to get up at 4.30. Oh, I like that. That'll be good. Um... We did that and but so anyway last night you know was the first night they were weren't here and weren't getting up to leave or anything like that I slept so hard I said to Mike I think I was really tired <laughs> well let's face it in the normal course of things I'm in my craft room doing this I'm not playing volleyball and kickball and <laughs> and hiking around a fort. I'm not doing those things normally, so. Yeah, it was really, really great. I think the cousins had a really good time together, so that always warms my heart, too. Okay, that one's cool, and then we'll do something over there. With a label or a butterfly or something. Okay, this one. I have this little. I was thinking of just... Kind of going up the side with side slash middle. Okay, I kind of have a sense of where. It's kind of sorta. See how that does. Hope you guys will try this. This it was really fun doing the neutral um, book pages and music and stuff, and just trying to find different colors, you know, to use. I think I'm just gonna kind of go like that-ish. See how that does. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was really fun to. To do so and of course you could do all sorts of other different things to the to the tags too because like you could you know you could use your Tim Holtz people or whatever to decorate them just such a nice neutral background but I just wanted to use up some napkins. What is my mission here? 
And that's going to be a pretty one too, I think. Okay, I'm going to plop those in. These I'm just going to leave plain. I'm going to distress them and then I might put a lace down the middle or something. Just make a fairly plain little tag. Okay, so let me put the lid on this and then we'll kind of cut them down, kind of get them ready for the sewing machine, if you will. Okay, so how much time do we have left? Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Just never enough time in the day. Okay, so there's those. I've already cut this guy down. What I might do is do some more distressing though on the edges where the napkin is. I'm gonna do that on that one. Gotta cut this guy down. And this one, I wanna see what those two look like. These are close to being where they need to be, but. fun is this and look at this batch batch of this one's a little drier we'll do it and I I like to cut them just because I like a crisper line but you can just tear them too if you want to just kind of wanted to make sure I saved this half of this one I don't know if I have any more of that napkin what we get oh yeah isn't that pretty now this one I definitely need to go back around it with the distress ink because you can see it's just muted the distress ink like here it doesn't even look like there is any so we will do that and like I say I don't know we might work on these again tomorrow a little bit just working myself back into things, you know. I've got plenty of journals I need to do, but I'm just going to, like I say, work myself in slowly. And ephemera is always a good thing to do for that. Um, look, I have not that one too, so I have two more tags, really, of that one. Um, yeah, so... will be fun. I can either pop them in a journal. Yeah, that one's really cool. I love that one. I can either pop them in a journal or um, give them as give them as thank yous. One or the other. This one I really like a lot too. It's not pretty. Yeah. Okay, you little guy don't have anything hanging over. This one does. So yeah, I think we'll have lunch. Take Jimmy for a walk. Then I'll clean the bathroom. Then I'll do the gardening. And maybe I'll have a little time to come back down here. I would love that. that I really like that one too. I like them all. What can I say? I like them all. And definitely the napkin does give it some texture. But, I mean, you can still... There's more decorating to be done, really, I feel like, on these. I love the colors there, of course. Pink and teal. Yay, at least I got them all cut down. That one's good. Okay, so we got four journaling cards, six tags. Where's my other journal card? One, two, three, four. Six tags. And a flip. I didn't get this flip done, did I? Well, I'll have to do that one. It could be a surprise tomorrow. If 
find a different napkin. Maybe, huh? Okay, and then there's that one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so there we go, guys. That's my little neutral background with decoupage. And then a couple more up here. Look at that. We just have so many. So much fun. So thanks, everyone, so much for watching. And we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everybody. Bye-bye.